Uh, what's good? It's your boy V. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this one really short. I'm just going to make it easy. I already went through and ran all the steps that I ran in the verse tutorial. So if you didn't check that out, go check that out first and make it easy. So uh, I got my two main lead tracks here. I'll mute out the rest and let you hear those by themselves real quick. Make it easy. Alright, so on those two, I'm just using the basic settings. I don't want to tweak those out too far as far as effects and shit goes. But with the other two that I have, I will tweak the hell out of them. Uh, I go into effects and hit reverse. That reverse the entire track around. And then you go into studio reverb and go to vocal reverb medium. Hit OK. And then you're going to reverse it back. And that will add kind of like an airy effect to it. If you want to go that way, uh, I'm actually not going to do that for this particular portion of it. I'll leave that one intact. Uh, I'll just add the aforementioned room ambience one. And then for the other one, I'll do the room ambience two. They're only slightly different, but it is a little different thing. All right, uh, these are my punch ins. Also, kind of, they fill up the empty space. It's kind of like a hype track for a hook, basically. Uh, there is some screaming in this, and usually with my screams, I like to reverse them out and do what I just talked about, which is the uh, vocal reverb medium. And then you're going to reverse it back. And I do that for both of them the same way. Because one's like a deeper growl, and the other one is kind of a higher pitch melodic growl. Yes, I even harmonize with my growls. It's just how I roll. Uh, go back in here, hit that, reverse out. Then uh, I'll let you, I'll just let you listen to it. Since uh, you kind of heard what the basics sound like, this is with the layers added in. And always remember that with hooks, you want to put them, you're going to mix the volumes lower than you're going to do the verses because they're layered. And each layer is going to add on more emphasis and more volume thickness to it. So you don't want to get too like headstrong with that. I mean, you can always go back when you're done and check out what you did and adjust volumes from there. But here's the basic end of it. You'll notice that I adjusted the volume up on the screaming tracks. That's because when you do do the reverse vocal reverb thing, it takes away probably like five, six, even seven decibels from the volume itself. So you'll want to readjust that depending on how loud you want it, of course. If you want it to shine through or if you just want it to be a little bit in the background. Basically, with, with hooks, I try and run two vocal tracks, the two main vocal tracks, so the two main harmonies and shit. You want to run them somewhat close together. With this one, I usually don't run them on the same exact decibel level because it's usually too powerful. But with this one, I did one as a higher pitch thing and one is more of like a guttural singing. So I had to bring them together to make them sound legit. Because by themselves, they're not that great. Like here. Like 
Like you hear that's like the higher pitched one and I'll play the lower pitched one. And then I'll play them together and you'll see what I mean. See that way they kind of complement each other as opposed to fighting each other for space at the front. They just sound in unison like they're meant to be that way intertwined. Alright, so that's basically going to be my hook tutorial. There's not much to it. It's just you got to work out the volume layers yourself and play with different things and figure out what works for you and all that good stuff. And it's pretty easy. And you too can be a dope hook maker. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm decent at what I do, but I'm not great. All right, uh, I'll come back in another video and run you through the quick mastering process because I don't want to keep the time run too long on this. So check in with the third video for how to master shit out. And uh, I'll see y'all in a minute.